Let's kick this shit. You hit it off with a bumper knife straight down the middle again. Middle again. You had a fling with a slingshot, you're rolling out the alley and all again. I tried to cradle you with my foot. Greg, what do we do here? We bore this. Shout out to Ken Cromwell, I guess. This is straight down the middle. This is Greg, I am Zach. We're here for another wonderful video. What do you want to say, bud? Special win lit edition. Maybe we are lit right now. <laughs> we are here, we gotta be lit to give them the next top 10 list. Because this one is gonna, this one might uh, put some noses ruffle up Ruffle some us. feathers. It might ruffle some feathers. Actually, a lot of people might agree with them. Top 10 most I don't know. overrated. Most overrated pinball machines of all time. You heard it, we're gonna break some hearts today, but these pins are just not worth what you think. No. They're not that fun. Nope. They're not that, they're, nope. they might be good games. They might don't be a little rare. rare. There might be some rarity. That's fine. But that does not They mean... might be classics. They might be the greatest, yep. but come on. You guys put them on this pedestal. Yep. We're about to knock them off. Yep. Too many people talk the about them. The 10th most Overrated pinball machine. It's got to be Kingpin. Yeah. The Capcom game. Sure, it's a good game. It's fun. Uh, the guys at uh, Circus Maximus, I think, were trying to. Redo I don't know. It. Whatever happened to that? I don't know. But you know, that was decent. It was decent. It's fine. The remake, but not no, for this, the money. No, this original that no. I think originals still go for like fifteen, twenty thousand yeah. dollars. You can buy Nuts. so much more game than that. Yeah. It's, I like the spinners on the ramps. It's yeah. clever, but there's not enough there, people. No. Don't keep valuing that pin no. so high. That's overrated. <laughs> the number nine most overrated pinball machine is one that I loathe. I hate it. Uh, even some of my friends, what, including Raymond Davidson. Raymond Davidson is the number one pinball player in the entire earth, the world. <laughs> he loves this game. Ray Day, you're just wrong, man. It's Family Guy yeah. or Shrek. Take your pick. Yeah. Sorry, Pat Lawler. They're both shit yeah. layouts. They both suck. I don't like them. I feel like I'm playing a single level no. game. I had a oh. friend who drove forever to go pick up a Family Guy. Got it. Man, he was kind of like, that's it. Yeah, and there's, they're a lot of money. Yeah, they are. They're they hold their cheap. value. Yeah, they're not cheap. I've oh. just never been a big. I'm like you. Shitty like, game. Yeah. Give me a give me a Data East lethal weapon no. over over that era of CERN like just something Oof. in there you kind of like like South Park's not a bad game but you still had that same level of art Park like over. the way the play fields were made or looked or something like it's just something just no. about that tone and every time it goes up to that upper little mini play field oh, oh god you got BBs the mini balls around. sucks that yeah. game blows yep. way over stop talking about it pricing that's a twenty eight hundred dollar game to yes me. and I wouldn't buy it. No. I wouldn't buy it. And it's ugly. No. I like the Family Guy. I like Family Guy too. But the pen. That's some unique stuff. The bash toy right in the middle. <laughs> that can. Ugh. Not good. Number eight. This game pisses me off too. Why do people like. I'm going to get all angry here. Why do people like this game so much? I don't know. Again, a Pat Lawler. I'm sorry, Pat. Safe cracker. Ugh. Like, I don't know if it's like the weird nostalgia of it with the coins and everything. I don't know. I don't get it. Maybe. It's like collectors, because but. I remember when I first got into pinball, like people touted it was one of those things like safe cracker. No, I safe hate cracker. the format, it's like a time based thing. I hate the layout, how it's smaller. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. No. I feel like I'm shooting for a fucking a bubble gum, yeah. piece of bubble yeah. gum. I played the, one in uh -huh. a show, like when, when when I first got into pinball, because people were talking about I was like, oh, there's a safe cracker. And there was a line, and like I was like, I want to play this. And I was just like, I got up and played it, and I was like, mm, no. 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 This is not what I like. Oh, wow. Why are people talking about this? Oh, that's, that's yeah. another Pat Lawler. Yeah. The next one comes with a, comes with a disclaimer. Um, I do not agree with this. And I think Greg uh, was smoking crack or some substance when he urged and pushed and said, you know what? You got one on the top 10 underrated list. I'm going to give you this one. And you guys see it on the screen right now. Whitewater. I think it's terrific. Okay. I love that game. Full okay. disclaimer. Okay. When we were compiling this list a while back, I, I don't drunk? I don't know what mood I was in when I was Bad. arguing against this. I think some of it came to price point for what it you did. It is get. priced high. Yeah, it, it's the the rules aren't as deep no, as a lot of other games. And, and I think that that's the thing. Not even a wizard mode. No, that's what I'm saying. I, that was kind of my major argument. Okay. Um, after some form of reflection, 
I do very much enjoy the yeah. shooting of this Send game. hate mail right in the comment section below. But, game's great. again, for the price and what you get, and I mean, the theme's pretty cool, it looks what? pretty cool, but it's still the code on that okay. game right. at that price. There's a lot better games that you can get for that price. That's fine. You're and wrong. And everybody though. touts Whitewater. You know what's going to make people even more angry? <laughs> Is our number six. Because I think the game sucks. Now this is and everybody's getting this mad is the me. reversal of Whitewater. Yeah. I didn't want this in the list. Or uh, no, I, you did want. I it. wanted it. In the I list. tried to say yeah. no, and you're like, if I'm going to give you Whitewater, yeah, exactly. you're giving me this. <sighs> Batman sixty six. You heard it. Sure, it's George Gomez. Sure, it's Lyman Sheet. Sure, it's Capel. But sure, it's effing boring. No. Oh. I think it's fun. I enjoy it. I'm not like into that era either of, of, no, every, of Adam West Batman, but it's ugh. just fun. Every time somebody tries to look up for this game, I always ask them one thing and they leave me with a non-answer. What's your favorite shot on that game? <gasps> um, <laughs> I'm not really a good shot on that game. You know what's bad is that is the only game that I think that I like we have disagreed on. In I hate all that of game. Pinball. Love it. Nope. Love it. That, but no. I can see where that it can be overhyped oh, for what it is because it is. It's holding well, value I mean, well. Who gives a shit? It's boring. It is. It, it's it's a pretty pen. Like I I I do think that it is slightly overhyped for the way it shoots and the layout and that's the all toys I can give you and the everything. That rotisserie, George Gomez is a genius, and that rotisserie is so complex. But when I hit a damn ramp and then I gotta hit the phone that's lit and it's not fucking turned yet, yeah. and I gotta try to no, it's a fail. Yeah. That game is no bueno for it's me. It's fun. Art looks nice, ish. <sighs> I think theme and I think theme and code go a long way on that. Long way down the shitter because that game sucks. The most, the top five. We're in the top five now. The fifth most overrated pinball machine of all time. <laughs> We're really gonna make people mad as we go up on this list. Elvira and the Party Monsters. It's a fine game. It is fun. It's fine. It's fun. But it is gets it really? boring. Yeah. You can just keep shooting it and keep stacking, yeah. and it's not, not that great. No, it's not overly difficult. Give me a lot of other System Elevens yeah. at half the price. Yeah. Give me any other Elvira pin. I'll take Scared Stiff or House of Horrors and, and, over this. And it's another one that that's probably it's it's overrated with the price and people buying it because I, I would own one. Mm -hmm. I, I would like one. I can say but theme wise, I'm nowhere me. near going to pay the price for it because the game does not hold up to the price and to the way that people hype it and mm -hmm. and the 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 want for this game. There's better rule sets in System happen. Eleven. Very much so, and that that's again it's the weak point. It falls into those rules. It shoots it shoots pretty good. Get that one ramp. It's fine. Yeah. I like that. It's rant. fun, but it's just it's not a, where it is. It's a it's a freaking seventeen hundred dollar game, two thousand dollar game. Yeah, and they go That's for what four thousand dollars. Yeah, two thousand dollars, twenty three hundred dollars. Let's go, let's give it. Let's get up there. Twenty three hundred bucks it is all that that game is worth. Take your money elsewhere. I think the only reason for anybody to ever is strong take. The only reason anybody should ever own Party Monsters is if you have the other two games and just want to complete yeah. the trifecta. And people yeah. pay stupid money for beat up ones. Mm, yeah. Why? That's like Batman. There's not a good Batman game. No. I don't like any of the Batman games. No. Mm. Not even Dead East. Not even the Forever. Batman Forever. Oh. Yeah, they're all okay. I know. You're a Batman fan now. The number four most overrated pinball machine is one that is a beauty. It is a beauty. People love it. It's a Gottlieb. And it's rare. Yeah. And it's it made That's our top list for, for top back glasses. Yeah. It's Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's multi. It's, it takes a lot of risk. Got multi levels in it, yeah. and some people really like the code. They really love that game. Yeah. It puts me to sleep. Yep. I think there's it sucks. nothing going on oh. in there that makes me want to go back for no. more. No. Again, you're paying a hefty price tag for it, mm -hmm. and people demand it. One of the ones that didn't. Make, this reminds me. One of the ones that didn't make our list, um, and people are going to get mad at me. Alien Star. People love Alien Star. It looks cool. Never it's just, played Alien Star. It's boring, man. Long ball time. It's just boring. Another I know there's ball. a thing. You do the thing. No. Know, no. Boring. 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 No. Ooh, the number three. This could get remade. I just don't understand why. I, I don't Every get it Every time I hear it. The third most overrated pinball machine of all time is Cap another Capcom. Yes. Big Bang Bar. 
I don't get it. Nope. It's neat looking. Sure. It looks neat. Because it's got fluorescent yeah. plastics. There's what rarity, but when there was talks, it, and I, I love the company, and I'm not even going to mention them because I love the people there. They'll but remake it. The, the talks of this getting remade, still when I think about it today, it, it never makes sense to me of why that it's getting remade. Like, I, I don't know. I, 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 Just for the rarity, I guess? Yeah. I don't understand it because it's not, not a, a fun game. If you shoot it, it's not, not a good fun, no, game. No. And, and like Cactus Canyon, I, I can get behind Cactus Canyon. There's some quirkiness. That's a fun game. It's fun. I it's like the theme better, shots. too. I do, too. So I can get behind that. Like the, the strip pole... Like no dancer I don't alien. It. I don't get it at the all. left ramp is cool. I think it's one of those things that's just purely driven by the rarity. I think pinball magic is cooler. Pinball by magic Ma is pinball magic's actually it's a yeah. pretty good game. Yeah. Those those mechs and what they do with them are fun. It's it's a neat structure to that code. It's not bad. I don't get Big Bang Bar. No, I don't either. Looks Never cool, have. But no, no, can't get overrated. It. Very Sorry. overrated. That overrated. may have should have taken number one. You got an expensive piece of turd if you got it in your collection. Mm, dookie. No. The wait is over. A revolution in LED lighting for your pinball is finally here. Fully customizable, full spectrum lighting from Pin Stadium Lights. Order yours now at pinstadium.com. Chrome it, brass it, black nickel it, candy chrome it, powder coat it. The possibilities are endless at pinballplating.com. Your pinball machine deserves the best. At Comet Pinball, you'll find the best variety of LED products with the best quality LEDs, and most importantly, at the best price. Your collection is begging for an upgrade. Order yours now at CometPinball.com. Check out Pin Graphics for the latest and greatest in pinball enhancements, power blades, blade skins, pin blades, and even more. Visit PinGraphics.com now to see what's available for your pinball machine. No, number two. Numbers don't lie. No, I can get behind this too and I want it. I know you but want know this where... game, but it is so overrated. Yep. It's showtime. It's Adam's family. The <laughs> second most overrated pinball machine of all time is Adam's family. Ah, uh, it's cool. This is the nail it's on the head. Cool game. If there's a list of overrated pinball machines, this should fall into. Oh it. God, yeah. And I Who want. Argues? I want to own this game. It's a sometime. fun game. It's a fun game. But again, you know how we go back and we talked about before about how you know how I know that this pin is very underrated is because people keep it in their collection. Yes. People tout this game mm -hmm. when they own it and they have it, they love it. Adam's family is the opposite. Yeah. Everyone that I've ever talked to that owns an Adam's family says, yeah, really liked it, but. Well, everybody, if you're a pinball person. They left early. Yeah, if you're a pinball person, it's like Twilight Zone. You gotta own it at least once. Yes. And when you're playing that one game that is fun in Adam's family, nothing comes close to it. No. But when that game is over and you see the wagon and once that's over. Yeah. You don't want to play it again. No, it's very short lived. And, and that's, magnets are cool. Yep. I like the ball diverter. I like the thing. Yep. I like that there's modes in it. I like the start. To, there's so much to like, Greg, but. Theme's fantastic. Once you get through Beautiful. it and tour the mansion, yep. you don't need to tour it anymore. No. And that's what I've heard from everybody. And that's the only thing that keeps me from buying is I don't want to spend that much money no. and I don't want to lug it to the basement and then pull it out in three weeks because it's, I'm it's, done. It's really like the film. You go back and watch that film, it's a damn good film. It's yeah. a fun film. But once you see it, you're like, yeah, I can go another 10 years yeah. without seeing I'm it. Not re I'm not watching it again next week because it was so Not good. worth the money no. there. Okay. And your most overrated, overrated pinball machine, the number one of all time. Now, this is going to make all the competitive players very angry. Very, very angry. It's a Stern Electronics game. Mm. It's one that goes for so damn much money. It is one of the ugliest pinball machines that I've ever yeah. seen. It's all green. And it's Quicksilver. Ugh. Puke. An all green it. play field. I can't do it. I I don't I'll never understand Quicksilver. No. I'll never under Stargazer, no. okay. I get yeah. it. You got three I like spinners. Stargazer. I get it. Even Sea Witch to a certain degree they perfected with Beatles. Yeah. But man, Quick Quicksilver? Quicksilver needs a lot of work. No. Doesn't no. do anything for me. I don't even care about the rules. Uh, the rules are fine. I get it. Nope. Yeah. Nope. If you're going to spend that much for that expensive turd, yeah. buy seven meteors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. That game sucks. And the placement of that center bank in a sweep of I don't give no. a shit. So is a lot of things. Yeah. But right when you put it in the in the middle of the play field like that, 
that game is just not worth it. It is not like said, it's worth so ugly. it. And like, oh, the like, side cabinet sucks. The back glass sucks. It. No. No. It's just, a it, and I, it, like you said, tournament players, it's fine. But I don't casual even know where, people, where do people even come up with loving that game so much? I don't know. I know a lot of my friends Maybe the right name. now that it's are into name. competitive pinball. They're like, I hate you, Zach. And everything straight down the middle stands for. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you can't say that it's not overrated. That yep. thing is yep. Look at it as a whole. When people talk about, I wonder if Stern is ever going to redo like they did Sea Witch to Beatles. I want them to redo. And Quicksilver. About Quicksilver, I'm like, no, don't ruin a good theme on that turd. No. Please don't. No. Hate that game. It makes hate me scared. Game. Wasn't there rumor, though, for yes. a little bit that that's what um, um, uh, yeah, I know what Led Zeppelin about. was going to yep. be? Was a Quicksilver retheme? And I was and like, don't ruin oh, Led Zeppelin no, with that's that. That's what I thought, too. I, was like, I could even do a Stargazer. Stargazer is cool. Stargazer. You get triple spinners. I don't mind you got the weird slings with the cups in them that shoot. Yeah, that's but weird. it's not fetching Quicksilver price, and it's not oh, the shit Quicksilver, Quicksilver is. Yeah, Adam's family Quicksilver. So a quick recap on yeah. your top ten most overrated pinball machines of all time. Number one, Quicksilver. Number two, Adam's family. Number three, Big Bang Bar. Ugh. Number four, Spirit. Number five, Elvira and the Party Monsters. Number six, nice try, jazz music, Batman 66. Number seven, what? What are, what are you smoking? Number eight, safe cracker, Pat Lawler, my bad. Number nine, another Pat Lawler family guy or Shrek, take your shit pick. And number 10, Kingpin. I wouldn't try to remake that, Circus Maximus. Cut your losses. Try to make the pinball circus. It's not selling. <laughs> try to make it's ugly, too. Circus. Yeah, just not good. What do they need to do between now and next time? Maybe if you want a, uh, a better taste in your mouth, go watch our most underrated Ooh. pinball machines. It gets you fired up, but in a good way. Yeah, or watch one of our reviews or our Christmas special or hell, our recap uh, into the 2020 year. Thanks for the continued support and everything you do for Straight Down the Middle. Uh, we love you and we love our friends out there um, and all the support that Give we Give us your get. thoughts. Yeah, in the comment section comment. below. Are we nutty? Are we right? Are we on to something, mm -hmm. Adam's Family Collector? Nobody should argue Adam's Family. People Just, keep their Adam's Family because they feel bad. They're like, I know it's a great game. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I how like often the way it looks. play it, bro? Yeah. I don't really uh, play it. <laughs> I like the magnets. The magnets are cool. Does your mansion got wear? Peace your out. sanctum got wear. See you later. <laughs> you hit it off with the bumper nice straight down the middle again. Middle again. You had a fling with a slingshot. You're rolling out the alley and all day. Yeah. I try to cradle you with my flipper